I first slept with somebody when I was 16. He was a teacher, so I thought it was all right. He was a lot older than me and really good looking. I thought it was great. He didn't force me to sleep with him. See, the thing is, I just couldn't really resist. I weren't stupid, though. I tried to get on the pill, but I had jaundice when I was a kid. So I ended up with a cap. Oh, I'm telling you, they're a pain in the neck. I've got a coil now, so it's OK. We went on holiday for two weeks in Scotland. I told my mum that I was going with my mates. You see, at the time, I thought I was pregnant. And I didn't tell anyone because I was frightened and I just kept it to the back of my mind. And while I was up there, I, I asked for an abortion. Neither me or Pete wanted this thing that would tie us down forever. How could I look after a kid? They put me up in this hospital by the sea. There were about eight of us in the ward. All the others had fluffy slippers and dressing gowns and orange juice by the side of their beds. I had to make do with a hospital nightie, my stocking feet in a baggy combat jumper I'd taken camping with me. It's soon done. You bleed a lot and feel depressed, but it's a relief as well. You see, I wanted to tell people, I wanted to talk about it, but I couldn't. You see, the thing is, should I tell Steve? I mean, me and him want to get married, and I know this time it's right. But I'm frightened that if he knows, he'll leave me. And I want to tell him because I want to be honest. But it can stop you from having kids altogether, can't it? No. No, I won't tell him. I'll, I'm going to keep it a secret between me and you. Don't tell anyone, will you? I've found almost everything ever written about love to be true. Shakespeare said journeys end in lovers' meeting. What an extraordinary thought. Personally, I've not experienced anything remotely close to that. But I'm more than willing to believe Shakespeare had. It was Shakespeare who also said love is blind. Now that is something I know to be true. Most love stories are about people who fall in love with each other. But what about the rest of us? What about our stories? Those of us who fall in love alone. We are the cursed of the loved ones. We are the unloved ones, the walking wounded. Yes, you are looking at one such individual. And I have willingly loved that man for over three miserable years. The absolute worst years of my life. The worst Christmases, the worst birthdays, New Year's Eves brought in by tears and Valium. These years I've been in love have been the darkest days of my life. All because I've been cursed by being in love with a man who does not and will not love me back. I understand feeling as small and as insignificant as humanly possible and how it can actually ache in places you didn't know you had inside you. It doesn't matter how many new haircuts you get or gyms you join or how many glasses of Chardonnay you have with your girlfriends. You still go to bed every night going over every detail, wondering what you did wrong or how you could have misunderstood. And how in the hell for that brief moment you could think you were actually that happy. And sometimes you can even convince yourself that he'll see the light and show up at your door. And after all that, however long all that may be, you'll go somewhere new and you'll meet people who make you feel worthwhile again. And a little piece of your soul will finally come back. And all that fuzzy stuff and all those years of your life that you wasted, that will eventually begin to fade.